Welcome back to Power Lunch. I'm Seema Modi. A divergence in the FANG stocks today during today's sell-off. Meta, Amazon, Apple, and Alphabet tumbling while Netflix is holding on in positive territory. A similar picture over the past month, all but Apple in the red. So as we round out 2021, will these high growth, high momentum stocks continue to move in different directions? The Trading Nation team is Ari Wald of Oppenheimer and Michael Bappas of Bios Advisors at Rockefeller Capital. And Michael, I know you've been a shareholder in a number of these stocks. Do you join others in selling or stick by these names? No, I, I don't think we uh, join anyone in selling. Uh, this is a classic rotation of a knee-jerk reaction from uncertainty in the markets, and we're moving from growth to value names. And and in in high growth markets, the the momentum stocks outperform, and in difficult markets, you know, earnings matter. Companies that are a flight to safety with earnings growth and with deep value trades is what's going on right now. Quality always outperforms in volatile markets. And, you know, in the middle of this tech revolution that's happening in, in, in I would say, from, from 10 years ago to the next 30 years, you're going to always see technology outperform. So, I mean, I wouldn't get caught up in the panic of the trade of uncertainty. You know, you have the Fed, you have the Omicron virus that's going on right now. This is hopefully more on a short-term basis, and we'll get back to what really matters. That's earnings, that's earnings growth, and that's companies that are outperforming because they offer the best product with the best management team. That's been the case that many people have made on the bull side. Ari, when you look at a name like Apple, it's down today, but still trading um, close to its all-time high. Yeah, I think that's... Uh one of the more important ones to watch, I think this setback in Apple is really weighed on, on the NASDAQ overall, and it's caused this flight to safety. I, I don't think it's really been about any sort of broader rotation than that, just a pure move towards safety areas of the market. So that's why I'm watching Apple. I'm watching trading levels. There's one at 166, uh, followed by 157. I think uh, that uh, some stability in Apple will help stabilize the market. But the reason why we like it for the long term and why I think these higher growth companies continue to receive a scarcity premium in this uh, low growth uh, recovery here is that relative to the NASDAQ, relative to its peers, Apple is resuming its 2020 breakout uh, above eight year relative resistance. I think that bodes well for additional outperformance uh, looking out into the new year. And Apple shares trading at 170 a share. Ari and Michael, great to see you both. When it comes to investing, there are generally two popular methodologies. Fundamental analysis, which focuses on things like revenues, earnings, and cash flows, and technical analysis, which focuses on chart patterns, price movement, and momentum. I'm Joanna Payne, and Schwab is the better place for traders.